All right, what's up guys? So I haven't vlogged for a while. I uh, haven't really done anything for a while. I was more waiting to get feedback from you guys. Uh, I did a couple polls on Twitter. So I feel like, I think that's how I'm gonna get my feedback from you guys because that's where I get the most like actual feedback and activity from you guys is Twitter on the polls which are anonymous. So if you end up wanting to take part in the Twitter polls that I'm gonna be putting out more and more of, of what you wanna see, then go follow me at Austin underscore Eddie. So A-U-S-T-E-N underscore E-D-D-Y. And then you'll be seeing more, more polls from me just asking you guys what you want to see. Uh, so videos are gonna be shorter now. More straight to the point. Uh, straight to like straight to the tips and more helpful things, you know, I'll still have the workout in it, but less of me rambling That's it. So I will see you guys at the gym All right guys, so to start this thing off here is dumbbell shoulder press You could do it with a barbell too, but you'll hear that more commonly known as military press This is just an awesome compound movement to start off with shoulders the main, the main targeted muscle here is the anterior or front delt. So uh, that's kind of what I'm doing here. It's awesome compound movement. I did a drop set right here from 65 to 45. It's just a good way to bring up the intensity. Next is upright rows. So here you could see me doing a little bit wider grip. You, you will see most people doing these with close grip in the gym. Uh, Wider grip just will help target your lateral head a little bit more and bring out shoulder broadness and overall size. You see me switch it up to closer grip here and this will help just kind of get an all around shoulder workout but it's mainly the anterior or front delt. And then here is just a back angle of it. So I'm, I'm swaying right here but you try to keep a sway to a minimum for shoulder isolation. Next is dumbbell lateral raises. So here you just see me having two dumbbells bring them up to the side, uh, pull with your elbows, so then that'll really hit your lateral head. It, like I said before, creates shoulder width and broadness. Uh, a key or a tip that I have for you guys is act like you're dumping out a cup of water when you come up. Uh, you don't really see me doing that right here. This was getting pretty heavy, but uh, you bring your pinky up to the sky and that'll help isolate your lateral head or, you know, aka side. Uh, side delt so that's what I mean when I say lateral head but either way that's a tip for you guys next the next exercise coming up is I think yep dumbbell front raises you can do these with a barbell or an easy bar too uh, as you can see here it's pretty self-explanatory you bring a dumbbell or a barbell just up right in front of you hence front raises so it's just really good to hit like I said before that anterior delt I'm going pretty heavy here, more trying to get a pump, uh, trying to bring strength up. But here I'm doing it at the same time before I was doing alternating. Uh, the next exercise are rear delt flies, which everyone has a weaker rear delt. I don't care who you are, your rear delt is probably a lot weaker than your uh, lateral and anterior delt. But either way, this is just a pec deck machine that you could uh, twist all the way around. Just pull through your elbows just like lateral raises. You'll really feel that uh, squeeze in the back, and that's you know a huge key in having big delts is trying to work that rear delt. Here's just a little bit of abs. So it's just if you guys want to see what I do for abs, this is just a cable crunch. Have the V bar attachment right above your, right behind your head. Hold on to it and crunch down. Next, we're doing around the worlds. Uh, you know, right here, I'm using momentum to my advantage, but this is like the third or fourth set. I didn't get any video of the I think first or second you know here I am pretty much cheating on these but I'm still getting the work done and I this was a superset with cable crunches so my abs were dead but this is what uh, me and Austin Gomez have been doing for abs lately uh, that's just if you guys are wondering alright thank you guys so much for watching and I will catch you guys next time